Welcome to today's video, kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Find out more later in the video. But for now, we're going to get some work done. How are you In the centre of the French countryside was a beautiful chateau, left abandoned and forgotten for over 40 years. Then, one year ago, a family from the UK fell in love with its beauty and embarked on an adventure. Where, where that big tree is there, you can see the, can see the pillar. To bring back to life this forgotten chateau. Join myself, Terry, my partner, Ash, my mum, Tracy, dad, Tony, and nephew Jonathan in our family adventure at Chateau de la La Salle. So the next job um, to get sorted for the third floor is this second mirror. Um, picked this up in Emeos and got it nice and cheap. We, we took Rob to Emeos so you can have a little look around. It's fantastic, isn't it? Oh, Just, wonderful. Yeah, some of the bargains you can pick up there. Um, and I found this mirror there, which fits perfectly above the fireplace in the salon on the third floor. But unfortunately, at some point, someone's painted over it with this tacky gold paint, haven't they? Which, it just doesn't go at all with the colours or anything that we've got up there. So, we decided to strip it back and get it back to the original wood and then varnish it and stain it. Mm -hmm. Um, and Rob's took on the challenge of bringing it back to life, haven't you? Yes, yeah. yeah. So I've been working on it for about two hours, and it'll need a few more hours worth of work. Yeah. Then we can finish it. Yeah. Refinish it. So, what is it you're doing at the moment to, to get the old paint off? Just taking some soapy water and some steel wool, or you call it wire wool. Wire wool. Yeah. And um, just going over the gray, over the wood and getting all that old paint off. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. It'd be great just to see because obviously the carvings and stuff like that are beautiful on it. So to, to get back to the natural wood would be fantastic. Yeah, and we're headed that way. And then once I get most of it off, then I'll go back and detail it all. Yeah. And then it's ready for Terry to stain. Yeah. Brilliant. Might leave you do it all. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, so obviously I'll leave Rob do it. He's going to work his magic on getting all his paint off. And then once all that's off, we can look at um, either putting some stain on um, and then some wax or putting some varnish on, some coloured varnish that we've used upstairs so it matches the same. Um, we'll do a little test pot, see obviously how mm -hmm. it works and then go from there. Yeah, yeah. very good. Brilliant. Yes. Right, crack on. Crack on. <laughs>
So, Rob's just shut this down. He's been working on the mirror still, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> Almost finished. <laughs> um, so he's managed to get all the gold paint off, but while taking it off, he's managed to find what looks like um, the date. original date yeah. carved into it, which is fantastic, isn't it? And we yeah. actually think it's um, 1781, wasn't it? 1781? Mm. Yeah. So it looks like it's 1781. That's I'm now going to go 1791 is the closest, 1791. Yeah, that looks more like a nine this end now. So what does that make in relation to the chateau on that then? So it was built in between the chateau being built and the tower on the front. So it's 40 years older, younger than the chateau itself. And it's 15 years younger than the turret. Yeah. So it's certainly the same period as far as furniture and styles and things all go. Yeah, so it's been good. Um, managed to pick one from the Mios, didn't we, when we were there? Exactly. We got it's an absolute bargain and it's going to look fantastic in the salon on the third floor. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so what do you think, Esther? I think it's amazing mm -hmm. to find job, this uh, just working, uh, yeah, you know, with. on it and yeah. out of the blue yeah. finding That's a true a historical one. piece yeah. 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 like this. Yeah. It's amazing. It's just, uh, yeah. well, all we have to do is turn it over and find out it came from this house. The parish, <laughs> uh, or is that waxy stuff. I don't think it's good enough. I don't think it's good enough to get into it. You can definitely see the carving. Mm -hmm. see? Oh, so we'll see carry on. on. You see it's flattened up for a bit. Um, we'll let you know what the date is as soon as we just, well, as soon as we try and find out what it is. We'll soon know. We'll soon know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well done, man. Oh, no. yeah. That's it. That's it. After all that hard work and, and and waxing and polishing, and here we are. It looks absolutely amazing. I can't believe how well it's turned out. Um, it's from what it was like um, when we first came up here and tried it up, and exactly, it it was beautiful. But the gold just completely threw it. It just didn't go, did it? No. Um, and now to to get it back to what it once was like, it's just 
It's amazing. Right. Right. It had two other colors underneath the gold. It had a green and a gray. Yeah. So um, it's been through the years. <laughs> and then don't forget, you know, we found the date up here of 1761 or 1781. So this has been around for a while. Yeah, yeah. It just with everything now, with obviously the, the coven and the paneling and like all the wood, it just it matches in. Yes, so yes. it ties the room together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just looks amazing. So yeah, it's another well job done. Yeah. Yay. And the next, the next job. one. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so John came over to visit us again, which was amazing. Um, obviously, he just likes to come and just visit and stuff. But he'd brought us a mirror, didn't he? Which is yes. a beautiful, beautiful mirror, which is going to go perfect in one of the suites. So you'd seen it straight away right. and you, you were itching to get your fingers on it. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't wait to clean it and wax it. it was, um, and yeah, we're yeah, almost yeah. there. Yeah. So Rob's got the first coat of wax on and got it sorted um, and we're just dying to see what it looks like in the room. So yes. we'll go down now and we'll have a little look see what it looks like in the room that we're wanting it in. Yep. Yep. Come on then. We're just starting out some of the fabrics for what we'll use on the third floor. Yeah, and while we're at it, a huge thank you to Squarespace again for making this video possible. Um, and the, the adverts in the videos help make these videos, so thank you so much. There's so many good things about Squarespace. Um, my favourite one, and I'll, I'll keep saying it, is the video editing software. You've looked at it. Yeah. You're the one that does the editing. How good is it? It is. It is fantastic. And it's worth checking out, obviously, if you are um, wanting to start up doing video editing or anything or obviously just your website, anything like that. It massively helps creating videos. And it just makes it look so professional. It looks like you've paid someone to go out and do that work and you can do it all yourself. Yeah, definitely. Superb. And the other thing, obviously domain names, yeah. absolutely amazing. Obviously we've even been going on <laughs> and just messing about for a bit of fun to see obviously what crazy domain names you can yeah. actually create. And Tracy.digging, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I, love it. <laughs> I think we need Terry.Briconting next. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and again, the marketplaces that they've got for local pickup, international delivery, how you can create that is just superb. Um, again, you'll get a, a discount, you get a free trial. Check out the links in the description because they are, it is worth it. They yeah, are superb. Definitely. Check it out. So you get 10% off on your domain name yeah. for a year, or you can get 10% off on your first subscription for your website for the year. Yeah. Yeah, but for now, we're going to see what the fabric's like on the canopy on the third floor. Let's have a look. Come on then, come on then. So, managed to uh, get the bottom part of the door on now, so that's all fitted on. Um, Graham came over and gave us a little hand with that. Um, so once that's dried, we'll be able to cut it down to size, sand it all, and then blend it in and 
hopefully it'll, it'll look quite good and you won't notice. Um, the next step, I've just took the original lock off so I can get some of the paint off as well. Um, and I'm wanting to try and use one of the original locks because it's exactly the same brand as the ones that I've already got upstairs on the third floor. So um, it's a bit battered, but I think with a bit of work it'll come up lovely. So I've just took it off, I've took the back off to see how it's all looking inside. And it's not too bad to be honest. Um, I'll have to get some of the old paint off just so the actual lock part works. And unfortunately it didn't come with a key. But on my travels I'd seen a big bundle of keys um, which I'd picked up. Because I knew some of them would fit some of the locks. I'd be at all of them. Um, and surprisingly one of them actually fits perfectly into this lock which is it's just amazing so i don't need to do any alterations with it if it's exactly in it's like it was actually made for it so that's brilliant so i'll get some of this paint off i'll uh, give all the inside a clean hopefully i'll be able to restore it and get this lock working so yes yeah, so it'll be an original lock um, and i'll have a nice old key for the third floor which would be amazing yeah, well, I'll get on with cleaning it now. So that's the lock all back together and cleaned up. It's looking absolutely fantastic. Can't believe how good it looks. Um, and just to finally see the little logo on the top again. It's just, it's brilliant. So I wanted like the sort of age look to it still. So I'll probably put just a little bit of linseed oil on and um, just to give it a bit of a shine and that'll be it. And the key actually works. So a completely different key that I found the lock works so like I said I've took it all apart cleaned it all out and restored it and the lock works there as well so as soon as the door's sorted we'll be able to get it back together and it's all done First layer of paint stripper on now. Um, all of the bottoms sorted, added it on, it's looking brilliant. Um, this is going to be the side that's going to be facing inside the turret. So ideally I'm wanting it matching all of the wood in the turret. Um, and that was why obviously I wanted the panel matching as well. So I'll get this paint stripped off, get it back to the bare wood, give it a sand, and then hopefully we'll be able to blend it in with the panelling in the turret. And it'll look fantastic. The other side I'm just going to paint white because that's just going to be on the third floor and I'm matching with all of the woodwork up there. Um, but ideally I think I want to take this top panel out as well and put some frosted glass in just so it can let a little bit more light into the hallway upstairs. 
But for now, I'll try and get all this paint off. So God knows how many layers of paint is on there. Um, and go from there. And that's the panel out, which turned out fantastic. It's turned out better than I expected, to be honest. So I've just cut the beading off. Um, panel's come out, I'll be able to clean this off, get a piece of glass to fit, and then get it all back together, and get it on the third floor. But yeah, it's good. And we'll be able to have a bit of light in the hallway now. Um, I think I'm gonna look at trying to frost the glass as well, just so, obviously, we've got a bit of privacy up there on the third floor. Um, but just sort of still let a bit of light in. But yeah, and on the plus side, I've got a free panel now, which I'm sure will come in helpful somewhere. Set the door almost sorted. Um, we've got it up, we've got it stained, haven't we? Yes. And it's almost a match to the panelling. Um, but I think because of the type of wood that the door is, obviously it's it's not matching exactly, is it? So we've got a, a wax and we're gonna try putting a wax on to try and even the tones out and match it in a little bit more to the panelling. Because it's got a, a very subtle red tinge to red it, hasn't tinge, it? Yeah. yeah. 
So it's not obviously as red as what a mahogany is. Right, but it's it's like not. a ch like a mild chestnut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's strange, that, and then trying to blend it in with it being so old, it's it's going to be difficult. So we've got a couple of ideas that we're going to do to try and blend it in. Um, and the glass, the glass is on order. We're just waiting for that to to come and get sorted, and then I'll be able to put the glass in. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that next time. And then I'll be able to put the lock back on that I've cleaned up and get the um, key plate on as well. I've managed to find a nice old key plate that I'll put on. Mm -hmm. And it'll all tie it in. So while I was waiting for the glass, I managed to put a little couple of things in to make it look a bit more homely. So the um, coat hook was originally in the cupboards. Mm -hmm. So when we took out the cupboards in the bedroom, I think it was, this was in there and I just loved it, so I wanted to keep it. So I thought it would be perfect in here in the hallway. And the other mirror that we got from John. Right. Restored that and got that in as well. Yeah, it's getting there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's good to see a door here. Right, exactly. So as we get the door done, we've already washed with an oil soap the, um, the archway here, which is just pure paneling. And um, everything is clean and waiting for it to be refreshed. And uh, so we'll see how that goes with the new coat of wax or varnish on it. Not varnish, but uh, wax. Yeah, yeah, we're looking at uh, obviously just a normal wax and the mm -hmm. liquid wax, aren't we? Yes. Just so we can do the, the whole wood panel with it. So we'll start off on this part, see what works and go from there. And our plan is to try and get this whole top part of the tour done while you're still here, isn't it, Rob? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> In the next couple of weeks. That's our challenge. Yes, that's, yeah, that's my goal, is yeah. to help him get it done. Yeah, it'd be amazing because um, what we can start doing is getting the windows sorted as well that are missing up here in the turret. Mm -hmm. um, so I could work on that while you're working on cleaning the panelling down. Right, right. You can yeah. do all the hard jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be on the scaffold for the window, so you've got the harder one. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's good. It's looking fantastic. So we'll leave it for now, and then when the glass comes, we'll be able to get back on it and get sorted. Mm. Yep. So we'll go and find something else to do. Yes. Come on then. Thank you. <laughs> now. And this is the other mirror. It's looking absolutely amazing in here. And it just fits perfectly, doesn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. When you're walking in it, just so, you really notice it. This will be in the salon for the apartment on the left hand side of the chateau. So this will be the 400 suite um, and this will be their living area. Um, it just As soon as I seen it, I just thought it would be absolutely perfect in here. Just the style of it, um, I just thought it would be amazing. The, the size, it's just as soon as you walk in, it's going to be the first thing that you see. Yep. Um, and it goes with the fireplace and the fire. So yeah, I think it would be amazing in here. Um, I just wanted it in the salon downstairs, but even though it's massive, I don't think it's quite big enough to, to fill that space. Yeah, the room is quite large down there and so taller. Yeah, so we're going to need like a, a big, big mirror there. Um, the one we've got was only a temporary one for Christmas. So yeah, so it's just, it'll be amazing in here. I think a nice coat of white paint all over it. So what? <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> No. So the next time I come back, it'll all be shit. <laughs> no, definitely not. It won't be painting that. Um, we will be painting the panelling. Obviously, a lot of the panelling is painted up here. Mm. So we will be painting that. And I think it'll be a nice contrast from all of the dark wood in the turret. It'll be a nice contrast from that. Yeah. yeah. So the idea for in this room will be um, to go with the same colour as what was in the bathroom. The only bathroom that's in the shadow. And it's like a, um, a bit like a pistachio olive green, and um, that's a plan to paint this whole room. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I think we'll see. I think it'd be quite nice to go with the green fire, and then just have accents of the dark wood. Um, yeah, I think it'd be very nice. I think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good choice. Yep. Yeah. Well, we'll get it down for now, so it's nice and safe, and we should thank John. Definitely, honestly, it's absolutely amazing. Like the, the style is perfect for 
but the, the look that we're going for in the shower it's just absolutely mm -hmm. amazing mm -hmm. so thank you john thank you so much and we'll get some work done yes come on then. <laughs> What a great week. Hi, it's been brilliant. and um, just getting stuff sorted. So obviously more work going on on the third floor, mm -hmm. which has been brilliant. Obviously it Rob actually feels like we're getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah and getting pieces of furniture in there now. Mm, it's, it's getting that's nice to getting see, there, isn't yeah. It? Um so getting the mirror up there, obviously what mm -hmm. Rob's been yeah. slaving away on, bless him. <laughs> looks absolutely phenomenal. I couldn't believe it when I seen it there. It just it's yeah, night and day to what it was. It didn't exactly. fit in that room, did it? No, no you didn't like it, it anyway, did you? No. You liked it when you bought it, but you knew you were going to get that colour off it yeah, yeah, when yeah. you bought it. Yeah. Um, but now it just looks amazing in there. Um, it just fits perfectly. And um, getting the door up on the third floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To get a door up there, every time I used to walk up and think, oh God, like, I need to get that sorted. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those jobs that you kept on putting off and putting off, and now to finally have a door up there, it's, it's brilliant. The working so. door. Yeah, with the lock and a key. And I know, yeah, yeah, got a lock and a key. <laughs> that was so. Graham helped you with that before he went as well, didn't he? Bless him. He did, yeah, yeah. Thank he, you, mate. Um, so that's good. And then we need to trial a couple of things just to get the colour match, don't we, Rob? Yes, yeah. And then yeah. we can get sorted with that. Um, and then obviously John coming over. Yeah, it was, it was nice lovely to, to see, see him John again. again. Yeah, yeah. It's a it wonderful fantastic. plant and a wonderful the mirror. The mirror. The mirror. Yeah. yeah. Again, it's like he knows you. It's yeah. like yeah. he knows what you were going to look for. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. That's he just it. He, he pulls up with stuff, and it's just amazing to see. Yeah. <laughs> and that one doesn't need uh, three weeks' work either. No, no, no. 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 One more well, coat of wax, and we're done. Yeah. 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 It is it's stunning. When I walked in and seen it, it, it's stunning. Yeah. Terry nearly fell over when he first seen it. Yeah. You just couldn't believe it, could you? No. Yeah. Honestly, it's just absolutely amazing. So thank you so much. And you're never ever an imposition on us. You are always welcome here, John. Yeah. Uh, anyone is yeah mm -hmm. so and another massive thank you to um, yes we got some fantastic from ann and patrick um came yesterday didn't yeah. it yeah yeah i'm really surprised to be honest we didn't know what to expect um but the the pens yeah um the wooden pens and they've been engraved to each one of us and a little picture of the chateau on yeah so chateau the, de la la really really, really just lovely. the thoughtfulness yeah. of it again yeah. is just yeah. out of this world yeah well, australia yeah all the way from australia um, and it's another family that found us in lockdown. Yeah, yeah, through lockdown and just started watching. Um, and I think she's even got her husband really into it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you've done these for us, for the superb, the beautiful. I was really surprised when yeah. I seen them. We were all blown away, the weren't beautiful. we? Beautiful. No, they, they yeah. are. It'd be just something that we could market if yeah. you weren't so far away. <laughs> 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 it definitely be something that we could market. Oh, definitely yeah. Yeah. to hook mm -hmm. up with them. They'd be amazing to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we might be getting in touch with you, seeing what we can try and work out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And now, obviously, we've got all our own names on them. Yeah. <laughs> if you lose it, then you lose your own pen. What we need to do, though, Patrick, we need you to do tools with our names on everything, <laughs> on all the tools, because they just <laughs> little tags, because tools end up everywhere, yeah, don't they? Yeah. And maybe put them on some string so we can put around our neck, because we constantly lose them. I know, yeah. I know. But no, thank you. Lovely, lovely present. A really big surprise, and they're really nice yeah. and much appreciated. Definitely, it's mm. fantastic. And you're a couple of weeks in now. How you find it here? I know. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, wonderful. It's going to be hard to go home. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're part of the family now. It's you like you've just always been here. Thank it's you. Yeah, it is. It's been amazing having you. Thank you so much for everything yeah. you've done as well. It's, yeah. it's it's wonderful here. I mean, the chateau is wonderful. The people are superb. <laughs> well, these are these are these are really wonderful people. Bless you, bless you. But yeah, so lots going on today, and a massive thank you to Squarespace again for sponsoring today's video. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, check them out. I'm seeing the discount codes are in the description. And used to a busy working in the cottage. Yeah, still. very bored in. Getting yeah. Very plasterboard on. So bored that's not a bit boring. Of a, no, you it's never so get boring. Chance to get bored. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> bit of plasterboard on, and um, we'll be there soon. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's coming together, all the cables are, are in and run now mm -hmm. ready so we can just slap the boards on and uh, off we cool. go. But it's good because obviously putting the boards on um, with the insulation you get like an instant result because you it finishes the yeah, room. Yeah, but yeah. But then the slow process is taping yeah, and jointing. Just joint taping and jointing and getting yeah. it done. And we, we have to do all that before we can get the tiles down. So I have to do that before I can get the units back in. So it's just blah blah blah. Yeah. One after the other. But yeah. the end is in sight. Yeah. It is. it is. Well, the start of the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but good. But yeah, but okay. thanks for watching today. 
um, and we will see you on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. There's more boards. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be a, a boarding uh, experience. Taking <laughs> 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 your job. Yes, I Rob. know. <laughs> 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 right. We'll see, see you Wednesday. 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 Bye. 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 If you'd like to join us on our family journey, bring them back this once forgotten chateau, then please join us on Patreon for behind the scenes footage updates, live chats and your very own piece of the chateau.